Hi, my name is Douglas Ferguson, and today I'm going to be talking about a really cool tool in Photoshop <clears throat> called Exposure. And Exposure is produced by a company called Alien Skinware, Alien Skin Software. Um, and what it is is a film emulation program. It's one of the best, if not the best, film emulation program I've ever seen. And it so happens to work on video. This is not something they planned for. This is just something that I discovered in playing around. So this is really just for photos, but I found it works fantastic on video. And so I want to introduce it to you guys. And this is great for people who are just starting out in color grading or just, you know, they're not the best at color grading. And this allows you to be able to create your own look because these are fully customizable. And when I say fully customizable, wait till I show you, you're going to get blown away. Um, they're fully customized when you create your own look. So it doesn't have a standard look. A lot of these uh, film emulation programs, you could tell. You always say, like, mm, that's film convert because the film convert stocks, they look, they have a, a certain look to them. And it's really hard to manipulate that look away. You can do it, but it's it requires more complication. This is just, what it does is just the color science of it, just to make your film look analog, your video look analog. That's it. It's all it does. And it gives it a look of a of the film prints and the film stocks. So for this purposes, for the purposes of this video, we're just gonna go over uh, really quickly what I like to use for video. Uh, if you are into photos and everything like that, um, then you could go in more. But for this purposes, we're just gonna do video, and I'm gonna just open up Photoshop, and this is the footage we're gonna be working with. So in order to use this, the first thing you have to do is right click on your on your footage over here. And you're gonna do convert to smart object. Now, basically, what that does, if you've never used Photoshop, is allows all of your video to be color graded with the uh, plugin that we're gonna use. And I'm not gonna be doing. We're gonna do everything inside Exposure. So I, I might tweak it after, but everything inside Exposure. I'm not gonna. Normally, what I would do is I would color grade, color correct this, and then bring it into Photoshop if I was gonna use um, Exposure. So this is one of the programs I really like. Um, like I said, and so we open it, and then as soon as you pop in, you get set with a preset, and as you see. Doesn't really, except for adds, you know, that little contrast and that little analogy look and feel to it, but it doesn't add any weird colory look to your footage. And this is Fuji Pro 60. This is real Fuji Pro 60, not like that. It doesn't really look real, that inorganic look um, that some of these programs have. Uh, just a quick overview on this side. These are the presets. What I like to use for film, I love the black and whites. All of the black and whites are brilliant and they look amazing. Um, and I really like from the colors, mm, I like, they have a cinema thing here and the only ones I really like are the bleach bypass, which is a great bleach bypass. If you're shooting and like, if you want to get that, you know, that saving private Ryan look, you know, you shoot at a high, you know, uh, shutter speed and then you throw this on it and you, you, you land it. Um. And the other, and then the Technicolor two strip is also really nice and really good. And it's this is the best Technicolor two strip I've I've ever seen, to be honest. Um, and then you have the colors, which is great. From this one, I really just like the blue and yellow. So that one looks really nice. But normally, what I do when I use this program is I go straight down to here, color film prints, and I stay in this range. Sometimes I use the low contrast. Sometimes I use the the slide, but I stay in this range. This is what I use because it's sort of like my video is the negative and this is the print stock that I'll be printing out on. So I, it, and it works with what I like to do. So we're going to go with Fuji 160 C, which is what we had on it. And now we're going to go over to the controls. All right. So as you see, you have color tone, tone curve, focus, grain, infrared, vignette, borders and textures, borders and textures. We're not going to deal with. Infrared, we're not going to deal with. Vignette, if we if you wanted to have a nice vignette in your footage, you can. I'm not going to do it for this one. Um, we're just going to go messing with color, tone, and grain. So as we open up color, as you see, you already have an HSL in this program. 
you have the HSL in the program. You don't have to add anything else. You don't have to use anything else. You don't have to use Colorista with it. You don't have to use Color Finesse with it. It's right here. You have your full control of your saturations. So that means in the master shadows, midtones, and highlights, you can control your saturations on each level. And then up here, you have you can cool it and you can warm it. Um, you know, if you need to color correct it and get it right, if you're you shot a little bit too warm. With this footage, we we got it right in camera. As you can see, our whites are white, um, and our colors are pretty good. This is why I picked this footage because the colors are almost where I want them to be. Um, so then we go over here to tonal curve, and in tonal curves, you control your contrast, shadows, midtones, highlights. We know about that. Split toning is basically what you see when you're watching um, when you're watching like uh, Transformers or something. And you see the orange and teal, that kind of thing that's really popular in Hollywood right now. That's done through split, split toning, and we're going to be using a split toning today. We're not going to be using um, orange and teal because I, I hate that color I hate that color tone um, we're gonna be using a blue and yellow which is much better and it's sort of like what House of Cards uses and some other shows use TV shows use and I love that color tone better it looks a little bit more natural um, and then we have our grain and again the grain you have this unprecedented control you have a control that you don't have in any of the other film emulation programs um, I don't know the full version of film convert might have it I'm not sure because I've never seen it. I've never used it, but the plug-in version certainly does not. It just has the regular overall grain strength, and that's it. With this, you have control of the grain in your shadows. You have the control in midtones and highlights. So you really, really have full-on grain control. Um, the roughness, color variation, push process, and even the size of your grain, you all have control over it. You know here, and then you also have the film format. So if you want to make it, you know, look like it was. So that that's for like if you if you shot on like medium format or something like that. Um, all right, and then you have your vignette, and that's like a full control over the vignette and everything like that. So let's do a little quick grade. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to turn off the grain. I'll turn it back on, but right now we're going to turn off the grain. Um, we're going to go to our shadows, and we're going to desaturate our shadows completely. Uh, we're going to go to our highlights and desaturate slightly. A lot of people, go well, they desaturate the shadows and highlights all the way. Sometimes I like saturated highlights, especially if you have like a blue sky or something like that. Saturated highlights, it really makes your film pop. Uh, we're going to saturate our midtones. And we're going to saturate the overall. Go a little bit more. There we go. So that looks pretty good. We're going to leave our HSL alone because we like these muted colors. It works for this. Um, I'm going for a more vintage grade for this um, product, uh, for this uh, video. So that's really what I want to do. Um, I'm going to add my contrast. I'm going to bring down my shadows slightly because I, I want that little kind of silhouette -y look. Not too much, but just, just, just a touch of it. Then we're going to go and do a split toning. So first I'm going to go to blue and then I'll just go to strength and I'm going to bring up that strength of the blue to about right there. Then I'm going to take this and slide it all the way into the shadows because that's where I want it. Then I'm going to go to yellow. I'm going to bring up my yellow to about right there. Actually a little bit more down right there. Adjust the blue a little bit there, and a little bit more up, and now it has that Blade Runner sort of feel to it. Um, and now, finally, we're just going to go over to our grain. We're going to turn the grain back on, and where I want the grain is mostly I want it in the shadows. I really don't want it in the midtone, so I'm going to get rid of it in the midtones, and I'm going to keep it in the highlights. And I'm just going to lower the shadows down just a little bit. And I'm going to lower the overall strength just a little bit. Bring it up a little bit more in the shadows. There it is. And this, that's what I want. That's it. And that's done. So the next thing I want to do, because this is a vintage grade, I'm doing a, vin a vintage grade with this. 
Um, I'm going to go to really quickly just go to level um, selective color. Going to go to blacks. Uh, just that's too much. Neutrals. And that gives me my vintage grade, and it gives me my nice silhouette look on this side, and we have a nice light in that side, um, which is pretty much what I want. And then I just crop it. And then there we go. That's it. So that is... Exposure 5. Uh, the program, like I said, is up to Exposure 7. Um, I'm going to be showing this footage right after uh, the video is finished, uh, right after we're finished with the overview. And one of the things I really like about this, um, it's not just the control you have. It's not just how much you can do with it. It's the price. Uh, it's $150. You know, you get a 30-day free trial, and I mean, it's and it's a real good free trial. You don't, you could have all uses of the program. There's no watermarks, no nothing. Um, it's a 30 day free trial and it's $150, which is cheaper than film convert. It's cheaper than uh magic bullet film looks. And it's not cheaper than film. I think it's cheaper than the full version of Osiris Lutz. It's not cheaper than the plugin version, but you have so much more control and you could do anything you want. And I'll be doing more grades in this. This was just like a nice vintage grade, which goes with this footage, which is what we wanted for this. Um, and you get to see it in a second. Um, but that's it. It's a great program. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. And I hope you get to go on, you know, Alien Skin, uh, Alien Skin Software's uh, website. And you download it and you can make your own grade. But make it look like your own, you know. Do your own thing to it. Don't, don't try to get a look that someone else has. Or don't try to get a look that Hollywood has. Have your own look. You know, that's how you stand out. You stand out by creating your own look, your own color, your own story. Make sure it tells the story. This tells the story of this image. Make sure your color grading tells the story. Sorry to get a little preachy on that, but I keep seeing a lot of people's footage that looks exactly the same, and you're you're, you're just not telling a story. So make sure you tell a story when you're color grading. Um, thank you, and have a nice day.